Welcome to Tia Sarita's Storytime. Today we are going to read Celeste the Giraffe Loves to Laugh by the hilarious Celeste Barber. A lot of the mums and dads will probably know about Celeste. She's a fantastic actress and she has also been heavily involved with raising a lot of money for the Australian bushfires and everybody affected and those who were helping assist those who were affected. So thank you very much to Celeste. And we found this book on the shelves the other day. My daughter picked it up and she absolutely adores it. So sit back and enjoy. Celeste the giraffe loves to laugh. Celeste was a friendly, happy little giraffe. She had a kind heart and she made others laugh. But Celeste sometimes worried that she wasn't enough. It seemed like other animals did much cooler stuff. Could she be more like a hippo? Why not give it a bash? But when she jumped into the water, she barely made a splash. Celeste tried to be a lion, fierce and strong and proud. Roar, she yelled, but no one cared. Her roar just wasn't loud. Roar. Celeste looked at the ostrich, but then the poor thing found it really hurt her head when she shoved it in the ground. How about a cheetah, she thought. Now that would be the best. But after running 100 yards, Celeste needed a rest. Maybe I could be a fish. I'm great at blowing bubbles. But the bubbles came out the other end, which started major troubles. The kangaroo told Celeste, you really are not ready. You can't become a kangaroo with overalls and a teddy. I'm a chicken, can't you see? It really is clear cut. But when Celeste sat on her eggs, she smashed them with her butt. No matter what she tried to be, elephant, snake, or snail, rhino, or flamingo, she seemed destined to fail. The monkeys were so graceful, swinging to and fro with ease. But Celeste was far from elegant as she crashed into the trees. I may be clumsy, but I know that I am very strong. And I can reach more than the others because my neck is long. I really, I can do so many things like grab things out of reach. So I shouldn't need to copy when I know that I can teach. I don't need to be someone I'm not, thought Celeste the giraffe. And so she began her very first class. How to make others laugh. Celeste 
Celeste the Giraffe Loves to Laugh by the hilarious Celeste Barber. I highly recommend that you go out and grab yourself a copy. My daughters absolutely love it. And the pictures and the illustrations and the word, like it's just a fantastic book. So thank you very much for tuning in to Tia Sarita's story time today. I hope you're enjoying all the books that are chosen. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos. There are more to come. Thank you very much.